Debbie Pevereau, and you're listening to the weekly tip from Painless Financial Training Group. Today I'm talking about changing your year end. The question being, is the year end of your incorporated business annoying you? Does it fall at a particularly busy time so counting inventory has turned into a disaster? Would a different year end solve the problem? If so, you can ask Canada Revenue Agency for permission to change your year end. When you filed your very first T2, your corporate tax return for your business, you picked a year end. That year end remains your year end until you ask for permission from CRA to change it. The ability to change your year end only applies to corporations. Uh, Partnerships, proprietorships all have December year ends. There's no option for changing that year end. Only corporations can do that. If you have a year end that isn't December and you'd like to make it December, that is very easy for CRA to approve. They'll be quite happy to do that. Um, They like December year ends because they tie into the T4s, the T5s, HST filing, lots of other things. It's the calendar year and they like matching stuff up. So if you fall on the December year end, it's easier for them to match that stuff up. If you want to have a year end that isn't December, then you need to have a compelling business reason, which I'm sure you do. And if you ask and explain, you likely would get permission to change your year-end. So if your year-end is annoying you, you can ask CRA for permission to change it to something that you like better.